Hello YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome back to my videos. We are headed over to Smelly Mally's house for some garage sales. Yes, that is a little Debbie's truck in the background. Um, no reason, my dad just owns a little Debbie truck. He doesn't have little Debbies, he just has the truck. Um, we are about ready to load up to go to some garage sales. No mom and Bella milk today, she had to go run some errands. Um, but I just wanted to say hello to the new people in the crowd. I appreciate y'all subscribing to Smelly Melly. Let's see if I can get her. There she is. Um, but I just wanted to say hello to all the new people in the crowd. Thank you for joining. Um, Josh didn't prepare you, I think, for how weird this channel is. I kind of, I am pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous to have new people watching because I think the people who are already here kind of know what to expect with me. <laughs> um, and I was kind of deliberating about, well, should I act a little more normal today so that I don't scare the new people away? And the answer is no, because even if I wanted to, uh, I'm more weird when I try to act normal. So we are just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna have a regular garage sailing kind of day. Smelly Melly's nervous to be on camera. Oh, well, not to be on camera, to be on YouTube, but she's a good sport. So I'm about to work my way across her yard. There's a bunch of sprinklers going, so I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket so it doesn't get wet. But look at that tree house they have. This massive tree house. We are in Colorado. That has nothing to do with the tree house. Oh man, I'm nervous. Voice over Valerie. Two thumbs up. This was our first garage sale of the day, and it was kind of how every other garage sale went this day. A bunch of antique vintage knickknacks, not really anything I'm interested in for reselling. Um, I thought a lot of it was cool. They had like an owl collection and a squirrel collection. Two things that I like a lot, but I left it all behind. I did see this squirrel. And I thought he was cute. My main goal in life is to find a, a, a squalet. Do you know what a squalet is? If you don't, you need to Google that. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Lordy, that has nothing to do with this. But yeah, this is how most all of the garage sales were going. Kind of a letdown for me as a posh reseller, but that's okay. Emma, what's the best thing you've ever found at a garage sale? Favorite thing, one thing. One thing. Probably clothes that I got for like 25 cents. Pretty good. So. What brand were the clothes? Do you remember? We'll start uh, walking. Probably, I think they were like Hollister or Air Force or something like that. That's a good deal. That's cheaper than the bins. Avery, I'm putting you on the spot. What was the best thing you've ever found at a garage sale? I don't know. You don't know? Legos? Probably. Probably Legos. This kid collects a lot of Legos. <laughs> Rylan, what's the best thing you've ever found at a garage sale? Uh, maybe Lego, because I've got some good deals on Legos. Legos are expensive, Neil. Yeah. So I probably got a good deal. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the question? Okay. Mm -hmm. You look right there. What's the best thing you've ever found at a garage sale? Uh, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol? That's a good one. <laughs> Smelly Mally, what's the best thing you've ever found at a garage wow. sale? Mm. One Hi. thing. Clothes for Emma. Those what are expensive. Is this true? Mm. Now this one had a bunch of stuff, which I like. Sometimes you get those garage sales and they have like one table out there and it's not even <laughs> worth getting out of your car. But this one had a bunch of stuff, but again, not really anything I was looking for, for reselling, um, or even collecting. I know I have weird taste and hoarding tendencies, but nothing really struck my fancy at this garage sale. That one reminded me of somebody. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not much to look at. Just 
guy stuff i don't know they did have a bunch of dvds which i did kind of consider getting they had the office series which i love the office and i think in 2020 they're taking it off of netflix what's up with that netflix maybe i should go back and buy them i don't know but there's a bunch of scary movies nothing that i liked i'm more into like old school halloween with michael myers the ones with jamie lee curtis Probably my favorite movie series out there. Yeah, just randomness. The glasses I thought were kind of cool, but I'm more into funny mugs. So I left them behind. Like I said, I uh, it just wasn't Poshmark stuff. <laughs> Let's see, where are we going now? Oh, this garage sale. I've been here before and I tried haggling with the lady and she got angry at me, and I was only trying to haggle $2 off, so I asked her how much shoes were, and she said Walmart shoes were $2. A step up from that was $5, so it was either $2 for Walmart shoes or $5 for other ones. And those green water boots I was actually interested in, they were Land's End, but um, $5? I think is kind of pricey. If they were like Doc Martens or something, I would have got them, but not just for Land's End. So again, I didn't get anything from this garage sale either. Um, this next clip, I told my sister, this is me and her when we're older. We kept seeing these old ladies. <laughs> That's totally me and Smelly Melly. All of the clothing is 50 cents a piece, and I think I only bought stuff at two garage sales. We went to 13, and out of those 13, I only shopped at two of them. So first thing, probably my favorite thing that I found today, we're starting with the good stuff, is this Winnie the Pooh um, button up, kind of like a baseball tee, but it's the thicker sweater material. The brand is by Pooh. Winnie the Pooh made this top himself, but it's really cool and I wanna keep it, but I'm not gonna try it on. That's going on Poshmark. I too like to pick up Pooh. Next is Pooh, same garage sale. It's this like turtleneck, Blue Winnie the Pooh all over it. It's like so 90s and perfect. I love it. This one will be for me. Oh, that one's for Poshmark too. This one's for me. Yeah. My style, my personal style is kind of all over the place. I like to dress 90s-ish. As you can see, this one's for me as well, Mistletoe Maniac, and it's Garfield. It's already kind of cropped, which is nice. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually love this shirt. Me and Chad are going on a trip in October, and I think this is going to be my dress-up shirt because I'm so fancy like that. Next are these overalls. They're actually by Exhilaration, which I was kind of surprised after I read the tag it looks like it's an older tag size 14 16. i'm gonna do my best to squeeze into these but i kind of doubt it's gonna happen so if they don't fit they'll go on poshmark but i really liked this zipper front i thought it's so cool again like very 90s style this lady was selling a bunch of clothes a lot of it was stained though so i had to leave it behind but like all of her clothes was 80s and 90s fashion it was pretty cool and this is the last item. This one is for me. It's the brand Pearl of the Orient. Again, a vintage top button up, but y'all know I'm a sucker for embroidery. I don't care what you put on the, the clothing. If it's embroidered on there, I'm gonna wear it. So it's this, um, it's got chickens all over it. And I think it's the most beautiful shirt ever. I actually think this is going to look pretty cool with the front tucked into a pair of high-rise distressed jeans. Maybe a pair of Doc Martens or maybe some Converse. I don't know, but I think it's going to look pretty cool. Yeah, that's my whole entire haul. I didn't find much. I don't think Smelly Melly found that much either. It just wasn't a good day for garage sales. I'd say most of it was older-ish people selling their antiques and in my town, People think their antiques are gold or something. I mean, I don't know much about antiques, but they're expensive here. So yeah, that's everything I had. <laughs>
if you saw, am I selling stuff? Yeah, if you saw anything you're interested in, feel free to visit my Poshmark closet at Bella Milk. I'll have it linked down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's my personal page. I post things about Chad, my dog, my cat, the vineyard, my personal randomness craziness that's in my head I don't know everything I do post a lot of stuff that I find at thrift stores that I don't purchase because it's just too weird to buy um yeah but that's I'll have that link down below as well that's everything for this video again thank you if you're new I appreciate you guys coming over um and to my watchers that were already here thank you I appreciate you guys sticking with me too um, I'm actually going to link down. I have a group of girls that I'm in like a chat group with. We're all resellers and we all do YouTube and they're just an amazing group of people. And I don't mean to sound sappy, but like, how did I do Poshmark full time without you guys? Like, was it really boring when I started? I don't remember, but y'all keep it interesting and I appreciate you guys and I appreciate being in this group with you guys. So I will link them down below. Go check them out. Go tell them they need to upload more videos because I like to watch them while I work. Uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.